Yep. What you're watching is a fire at a Walmart food processing plant. While the world falls apart, we have a string of food processing plant explosions, fires, destruction. It seems a little to what the hell because Russia and because Ukraine and because food shortages why are all the food processing plants burning down at once? We've seen what this crew will do to try to mitigate a virus frantically. But when it comes to us eating food, not, don't worry, doesn't matter. There's plenty there. The food grows at the store. Don't worry about it. Food shortages, never going to happen. Processing plants, don't need them. Burn them all down. Are you kidding me? So, will the prices of Walmart and the likes go up? You got Tyson Chicken resting down on a breakout line that has now become its support while all the food processing plants burn down. Are they doing it themselves? Do you remember a long time ago when all the chicken executives got together to raise the price of chicken and it was super illegal? But, like, what are we going to do about it? The prices of everything is going up. Coming back down a little, we'll go over our staple points here. Sugar. They all move in unison, interestingly enough. Corn. Wheat. Soybeans. Right? They all got that red candle at the end there. You want to look at silver and gold, basically doing the same exact thing. You'd think they just keep skyrocketing. Why aren't they? Here's a list of all the food processing plants that have burned down. We've got an airplane crash, boiler explosion, and a normal explosion. Look at this. All this happened from August 9th, 2019, Tyson Foods in Kansas, to Monday, April 18th, 2022, last week in Oregon, Azure Standards, Taylor Farms, Gym State. I never heard of how the Hot Pockets plant burned down. Gym State processing was, had an airplane crashed into it? Huh? Shearer's Foods with a boiler explosion and Cargill Neutrina feed mill explosion. Kellogg, I mean, huh. What a list we have here. All over America. Fire destroyed the headquarters of the largest independent food distributor in the U.S., and there's barely any coverage. This is the Azure Standard headquarter uh, in Defer, Oregon. Headquarters Azure, largest independent food distributor, destroyed by fire overnight. Huh. The CEO, David Steltzer, issued the following statement. While the HQ facility is a total loss, oh, and a few product lines will be affected for the short term, whoops, other reserve standard facilities are operating as close to normal as possible until they get hit by airplanes. Most important, we are grateful no one was injured, except for the persons in the plane. Oh, wait, no, that was a different one. Our dedication to providing the highest quality food and products will continue as always, unless all of our food processing plants burn to the ground. We ask for your patience and prayers as we take steps to adjust and rebuild our burn building. We appreciate our Azure community and many expressions of support we are receiving and will continue to update our vendors and customers as needed. We expect the impact to be short-term, limited in scope, and manageable. Such a CEO statement to make. Huh. Now, will the price of all these everything continue to go up? Well, JP Morgan sure seems to think so. With a hundred and eighty-five dollars a barrel of oil, I guess it's a little bit lower than weeks ago when someone said it was going to be three hundred dollars a barrel because of the war. And what's it going to cost with all our food processing plants going down, J.P. Morgan? Does that make it go up more? A full third of Ukraine farmland is going to go unplanted as Russia begins its second phase of the war. Woo! Yeah! One third not planted. Super cool, adding to all the processing plants burning down and the prices of everything going to the roof. And then in another not-so-astonishing, astonishing moment, copper mines are shutting in Peru, with social conflicts mounting as of Wednesday, about a fifth of the country's copper output will be offline. How? How are we supposed to deal with all this crap at the same time? Remember when Bill Ackman bought that for the, all those freaking Netflix shares? Whoops, dude. 430 million gone. Sorry, Ack. 
notice the crop calendar. So if you look at the wheat, this is what I've been looking at. July, they start harvesting. So you'd know like harvest projections. So does that mean wheat's going back up in July? Interesting play. And while all of this happens, while our food sources, processing plants literally get burned to the ground, we have this amazing screenshot of our major indexes, our major indices. Good job. This, I believe, is some sort of close to a record, if not a record, of a crash in a day. Good God, here we come Monday. Have mercy on us. Try it so